this is less than a year since um, Mark Saunders was named police chief and, and you did not get that, uh, that uh, role. This has to have something to do with that. Yeah, it's very, very clearly something to do with that. What I wanted to do is to make sure that as we were going such a critical transition, that I made sure that I stayed and continued to lead and contribute to this service over the course of almost a full year. I didn't want to make any decision as important as such a decision is for anybody in their career. I didn't want to make it in a knee-jerk reaction. I didn't want to leave the service under-supported at the time of critical transition. Any Peter, final a few words weeks ago you had said that you had felt stabbed in the back and the front and you had said that you were going through the stages of grieving. Is this the culmination of the stages of grieving? Ah, oh, jeez, I don't have a psychology degree, so I'm really not going to be able to answer that question. Those are your words. Yeah, right? you know what? Every human being goes through disappointment. I'm quite sure everyone here with a microphone in their hand or a camera has had some disappointment in their lives, and it's taken some period of time to get through it. I'm also quite sure that nobody here sort of gave up their lives, curled up into the fetal position, and started sucking their thumb. You know what? I was disappointed. I came back into work the next day, and I kept contributing every single day after, right up until the very last day, my Blackberry's blowing up with, me, with requests for me to continue to contribute to issues in the city. I am so proud of this city, and I'm proud of the role I've played in it. And I'm not going anywhere. I'm taking a break, but I'll be back in some form, and I'll tell you, I'll let you know when I'm back. It's been great, folks. Thank you very much. God bless every one of you.